Good morning. Welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Today we're going to be in Luke chapter 11. What verses rose up for you? For me, there were verses 9 and 10. Here they are. And I tell you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And the one who seeks, finds. And to the one who knocks, it will be opened. So there's a wonderful promise right there. Here's my R, my reveal. Have you ever given up after one time? Of course not. In life and golf, we keep trying until we get it right. Our prayer life must be the same. Keep asking, seeking, and knocking. God promises to answer. Here's my I, my implementation. Persistence in prayer is the key to finding God's will in a situation. Although he may answer differently than the way we ask, he gives us calm peace, a.k.a. grace, to get us through whatever we find ourselves going through. His word teaches us to keep asking, keep seeking, and keep knocking. We do this in life and in golf. We're always learning. We're always uh, being persistent in whatever it is that we're doing. Uh, I encourage you to do the same. Here's my prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for teaching us how to pray in persistence. Glorify your name through our lives as we seek to become more Christ-like in our daily living. And ultimately, that's what we're, what our mission is, to become more Christ-like. Uh, I want to encourage you, when you are discouraged, uh, keep seeking, keep knocking, keep asking. Just like a small child, uh, God will give you what you need. Maybe not what you want, but He'll give you what you need. And he'll give you power to get through whatever that is. Let me let me pray us out uh, as we get ready to face today. Father, we do thank you. We thank you that you uh, have taught us how we are to be persistent uh, in our prayer life and in our lives in general. Lord, help us to always come to you with that whatever uh, our needs may be. Lord, just uh, give us grace, give us mercy. Uh, help us to understand your will. Father, I pray that you would just... Uh, like the step in front of us, maybe not all ten that we're to take, but at least the next step, just light that and illumine that so that we might know where we should go and what we should do. Father, I pray your blessings upon these men as they face the day, and we just ask that you go with them in Jesus' name. Amen. Send me your verses. I'd love to hear those. I love reading what you have to say and how the Lord speaks to you. Have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow.